Michelle C from Paper Octio Studio and you remember back I back a while ago I did a postcard mail swap with uh, three other people and it was for springtime and we're planning on doing it for each season and I told you guys that I would do the other two postcards um, later because I hadn't received the one from Lena yet and this is later, <laughs> this is quite a bit later, but I did get it done. This card I'm working on right now is from Lena, and then the other one in the video is the, the background that I created. And I will link the video where I created that, as well as what I did with the other two postcards, as well as everyone else's links to their videos, so that you can you can uh, revisit that if you haven't seen those. Those will be in the iCard. Um, It'll just be one video with links in uh, below and then you know that whole thing so a lot of people have been doing a napkin challenge from um, international international crafters is that the name of the group anyway uh, lots of napkins going on so I figured I would jump on the bandwagon and I would use napkins to finish these two postcards which I'll probably turn into cards they're gonna end up being card fronts uh, or something. I don't know. I, I don't usually mail postcards. So a little trick with napkins. If you need to cut it out closely, it's very difficult. And like I, I picked these two different poppy napkins based on the colors. And um, they're two, two very different styles, but they're both graphics. But I needed to cut them out closely to get rid of the backgrounds. And that's, it's just, if you're trying to cut out a thin piece of napkin, it's very difficult. So a little uh, tip or trick or whatever you want to call it is um, freezer paper. And this also works with wax paper. The freezer paper has wax on one side and a flat paper on the other side. And then wax paper has wax on both sides. So all you have to do is just take your little napkin piece that you want to cut out and iron it onto the shiny part of the the freezer paper and it and that and when you iron it flat that smooths out the napkin and it also sticks it to the freezer paper and gives you something that has a little bit of weight to it and you it's so much easier to cut out your napkin piece and in the case of these pieces I needed a close cut I needed to you know cut away the background so that's something that you can try so I cut out both pieces and then I'm going to use, on Lena's uh, postcard background, I'm going to use glossy collage podge because there's a lot of gold and glimmery stuff on her postcard and I don't want to ruin that. So I'm not going to put a matte medium on there because what does that do? It makes things matte. Don't want it to be matte. I want that metallic -y gold to still be shiny. So that's why I'm using glossy and then um, sticking everything down using that that uh, decoupage and I'm okay with it going over the edges uh, this particular poppy that I picked actually doesn't have one of the edges and so it's kind of all you know balanced that way and I will trim off the excess so then for the postcard background that I created for everyone that I'm now doing mine um, I had already collaged some stuff onto that and I used matte medium so then I'm using a matte medium on this one instead of the glossy so had to switch mediums you guys need to think about that what medium you're going to use depending upon is the is there shiny stuff that you want to, to keep shiny and also depending upon the thickness of the paper because sometimes you need a gel medium to stick things on um, depending on if the paper's thick or if there's something heavy on it and it's just it's something that you learn with experience one medium does not do it all no matter what some other people might tell you there are differences in things that you need in the case of mediums so trimmed off the excess added the black border back with some ink pad um, around the edges where I had covered it up using the little poppy um, on Lena's and then now I am blending the the napkin that I have collaged on there into the background by using a uh, fabric Castell pit pen this is a India ink in a brush marker and 
I'm putting that all the way around and then rubbing it with my finger to smooth it out. And that makes the napkin appear as if it's part of the background and not just something I glued on there. It's an important step that a lot of people skip. So then I thought it still needed something and I was I was kind of thinking about how this this background that Lena made looks kind of almost industrial and like maybe this is this poppy is painted on as um, like street art or something and so I decided to add some brick. So I'm using one of the layers that I peeled off the napkin. You know, there's three layer, three ply on there and I peeled two of them off to stamp this brick stamp with archival ink because I need the ink not to run when I go to collage it on there. But now I have another very thin little layer to add another layer to my background. So I'm applying these again with the glossy um, decoupage glue on there and once when they're when they're stuck on there you can't even see the edges so I'm not really super concerned about those white edges because they just blend right into the background and I really think that adds a lot to my composition it brings in some more of the red that wasn't in the original background at all and then um, also it gives you the idea that it's maybe in an urban landscape maybe it's you know a, a mural on a wall or something like that so I'm very happy with it very very happy with it it's actually my favorite of all of them <laughs> I really like the whole composition and colors and everything so then to finish it off I am going to use a gold Posca pen and a Posca pen is an acrylic paint marker with no smell it dries uh, very quickly over any surface well except for plastics probably not too good um, and this one's metallic so I added some metallic highlights which bring in that the metallic that was already in the background and um, finishes off the composition so that's what I did with Lena's postcard background and then with mine I've got this much more uh, subdued and somewhat realistic looking poppy and I'm gonna make it more graphic or illustrative looking by using the pit pin and then that, that also of course as I blend it out adds some shadow and makes it look like it's integrated into the background this is um, a technique that I like to do and I think it really makes a huge difference and I'd like to see more people doing it I wish they would then I decided to brighten up some of the color on this with a um, reddish orange I can't tell you the exact color but just warming up the the napkin itself when you put something like a, a magazine collage or a napkin collage together, you can always go over the top of it. Just because you've put that piece on does not mean that you can't paint over the top of it, draw over the top of it. You know, it's not uh, it's not sealed in glass forever there. You can always alter it and change it even after you've collaged it on. So then I used uh, some more of the brown and green around the leaves and I'm happy with that. I decide to do a little bit of stamping. Um, oh, first I do the edges with the potting soil brown archival pad just to close everything in. I like borders around things. <laughs> if it's not a layer, then it's an ink layer or it's a paint layer. I just really like things to be enclosed. Isn't that strange? Then um, I was going to stamp in the green, but I didn't like it. it. Didn't stand out enough, so I switched to the brown color. And this one actually ends up looking a little bit like autumn instead of spring, but it's still flowers. Um, so I guess it's still springy, but the colors kind of remind me of autumn. Um, we will be back, our little group of four will be back with, uh, with a summertime one, a winter and an autumn, um, you know, collaboration like this. That's what we plan. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment or a question below. Subscribe if you haven't and share this if, with anyone that you think might like poppies. And 
of course, go and watch everyone else's videos if you haven't. That's it for me. Bye-bye.